If you are not in the correct gaming projects, I can almost guarantee that you're not going to do as well this bull run and even end up losing money. So today I have three low cap gems that are going to absolutely thrive in the bull run for many reasons which we're going to cover right here. My name is Zach. Just remember nothing I say is financial advice and if you'd like to join the Discord server, link is in the description. So straight off the bat, I don't like to personally invest in games that only have one piece of utility or only building one game. And of course, there are some exceptions, all right, like shrapnel. I wouldn't personally invest in shrapnel now because the mark cap is incredibly high for the actual project, but one out there right now is called Delicium, and this is a major exception, all right, because one, they hit multiple narratives on the head, including the gaming narrative and the AI narrative, and two, they're a monster project in very early development, all right, and what Delicium is, is it's an AI-powered open framework with the ultimate aim to build a virtual world where billions, all right, billions of individuals and hundreds of billions of AI beings can coexist on blockchain. So what this means is users can create their own virtual unique AI beings, defining who they are, their personalities, their backgrounds, and so on whilst also being able to develop and grow their personalities and capabilities with time. So one, this is a very unique way to use AI, not only in the crypto space, but in the gaming space. I think gaming projects that utilize AI for this sort of thing are going to do exceptionally well. Now, imagine if GTA 6 had AI, all right, and you could interact with all the NPCs, learn all their backgrounds, that sort of thing. I think that would be a revolutionary game, and this is what the Delicium team are aiming to do. Another very unique point and part of the project is, all right, you can actually transfer your AI being utilizing the blockchain technology from game to game across the multiverse, all right, which is a very unique take on the game, all right, so there can be multiple games out there built in this ecosystem that you can transfer your AI beings through from game to game, so if we have a scroll down here, we can see that you can actually, you know, develop, like we said before, your entire AI twin's personality. So this can be done down here. Say, for example, Dad, we covered this in the last one, actually. Let's go Catherine, all right? So Catherine, another AI virtual being from the Delicium world, uh, to establish contact, was once held captive with a control chip. However, she managed to break free and now seeks the guidance of the Delicians on how to... Uh, retaliate against the energetic organization. And Ener energetic, big word for me. Uh, I hope I said that right. But yeah, so you can basically define who these people are and you can coexist with them in blockchain, all right, on their game. And it's still in the very early development, all right. So we have the Delicium City Center, which is a battle royale, all right. And there are more games coming in the very near future. So right now, now, we can see we are quite undervalued for what the project is offering, sitting in a market capitalization of $15.5 million, with a fully dollar market cap, which is $90 million. So, we have 521,000 AGI circulating out of $3 billion, which honestly, for a gaming project, isn't that bad. But if you look at it from, you know, a, a tokenary, you know, inflation risk, like, yes, there is that tokenary inflation risk. And if you look at it from a tokenomic standpoint, it's not ideal, but there are many gaming projects out there that have the exact same and actually a lot worse, which have done way better. Um, not only previous bull run, but are going to this bull run. And we can see that there is a huge amount of volume coming in and out every single day. That's almost 50% of the market cap flowing in and out every single day. And honestly, for the project, that $90 million mark in fully diluted valuation is actually not that high for a project like this. So, Delicium, all right, definitely has 100x potential from here. I mean, 100x potential on this sits at, sorry, 100x from the current point only sits it at a market cap, if all the tokens uh, remain the same, of $1.5 billion. And honestly, for an AI gaming project aiming to do what these guys are doing, I think this could do exceptionally well and definitely achieve that 100x. That is not financial advice, but right now, you can pick it up on KuCoin. I have never heard of this exchange in my life. Uh, you can pick it up on Bybit, Gate-O, Mexi. I just personally use Mexi and also had some funds in KuCoin that I picked it up as well when there was a little bit of a difference in price. That is the first coin. Let's get on to the next one.
All right, so the next project we're going to be covering today is Playable Games. And what they're doing is they're developing and deploying games through their ecosystem for PC gamers. So the games they'll be providing are going to be a little bit more complex and require sorry, require more powerful systems compared to projects like Nakamoto Games, Octo Games, that sort of thing. So what is Playable Games? They're offering all right, a gaming ecosystem aimed to produce and deploy top quality PC games through the Epic Game Store. So straight off the bat, that is bullish in my head. All right, Epic Games. They've had Fortnite. You know, Fortnite is probably one of the top most played games. All right, in the last few years, and straight off the bat, that they're going to be partnering with Epic Games and utilizing their infrastructure is very bullish for me. So they incorporate a few different areas that draw my attention. So number one, obviously, they're partnering with Epic Games, all right, in order to deploy and produce their games, allowing them to receive massive audiences. Epic Games is probably one of the top gaming providers up there with Steam, and Fortnite is absolutely massive. So straight off the bat, this has my attention from the get-go. Secondly, all right, users are allowed to run nodes and Basically, earn passive three ball tokens. Three ball, ball, whatever tokens they are, they're able to earn them passively by producing power to the network. Also, all right, this is probably the top reason is they provide, uh, sorry, the games they provide are not your average and simple games. So, projects like Nakamoto Games, Octo Games are producing those games that are easy to play. You can basically play on your phone in your spare time, that sort of thing. But what Playable are aiming to do is they're producing more complex games, all right? Not incredibly complex games, you know, that sort of thing. They're producing games that require a more powerful system with a bigger aim and storyline, all right? With more use case. So games that take a lot longer to play. Well, not a lot longer, but a bit longer to play. So there's a benefit to doing this, right? They can grab a large niche audience. So the, the PC gaming audience audience right now is not niche, right? but it's a niche area in the gaming space, especially in the crypto gaming space. And there's a vast array of users, especially through the Epic Game Store that are going to have their hands on these games, which is very bullish in my opinion, as these games are going to have a solid audience straight off the bat. So the last thing I'm pretty bullish on on this project is the fact that they're incorporating blockchain-based marketplace use cases, all right? So allowing users to purchase and sell various in-game items, NFTs, that sort of thing which is bullish in my opinion all right there's more use case for this project compared to other projects out there so only the project is aiming to develop and deploy games to a large audience so they're going to grow themselves by providing incentives you know more games and a community driven project to ultimately become one of the largest gaming producers we have seen at least that is their aim all right, so straight off the bat, we've been going pretty parabolic as of late, up over a 10x since the start of November. We're currently sitting at a market cap of over 40 million US dollars with a fully diluted market cap valuation of over 430, or sorry, just under 430 million, which means the tokenomics are pretty horrendous, all right? But if you're not going to invest in a project purely because of the tokenomics, I would consider re, you know, reevaluating your strategy, all right? Because there are a lot of solid projects out there with bad tokenomics. All right? I'm just going to say it. And honestly, in the gaming sector, this is nothing unusual. I'm not going to outroll a project purely on the tokenomics. Sure, there's a tokenary inflation risk, but if you think about how big the gaming narrative is going to be, that kind of outweighs my bias towards tokenomics quite a bit. And ultimately, I think this is going to go incredibly high in the bull run. As we can see, that hype right now has just absolutely pushed it. Imagine the hype in a bull run. I think 100x is quite easily, well, not quite easily, but it's on the board for this project, right? I think it's going to do quite well in the future, and that is Player Bull Games. Let's get on to our third and final project. But before we get into today's third and final project, make sure you check out the Patreon for the Crypto with Zach premium services so when you join the patreon all right you'll get access to the premium section of the discord server which will give you access to the premium information also my section all right so my portfolio my watch list my journal buying selling and staking alerts my upcoming projects and plays all my charts and much more and i'm also going to be going through my exit strategy to make sure we get as close to the top as humanly possible all right, which will uh, be develop, uh, sorry, developing a solid strategy in the very near future as that's just around the corner. We've also got our premium discussions, all right? So our premium chat, coin plays, DGEN plays, extreme risk plays, and shitcoins, 
which have actually been printing as of late. Uh, also, right, if you have any requests for the server, you can chuck them in here and also our individual uh, coin chats where we can talk about all different sorts of coins in organized discussions. So make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. So Hello Labs, the pioneer of the Killer Whales TV show and also offering games to play. So what the Killer Whales is, right, is it's kind of like a cryptocurrency Web3 Shark Tank where new Web3 projects come onto their show, show their ideas, all right? show their project and show the potential that it has, what they've been doing just like Shark Tank and can seek venture capital all right, or early money in order to get those projects running. So straight off the bat, all right, it is in somewhat a sense of a foundation. So I wouldn't call it a layer one. It's definitely not a layer one, but it's a foundation for projects to utilize in order to get started. If we go down to their games, all right, they've also got a few games which you can currently play in the meantime, and there'll be more came, uh, sorry, more games coming in the very near future. Purely off the fact that this TV show is going to see a lot of projects coming through. So if we go to the actual Killer Whales, all right, well, I think that's the exact same thing. We can see that we have our whales here, which will be judging our projects. And all the projects that become successful, as I said before, seek that early venture capital in order to thrive nice and early, which also might bring new, all right, new projects to potentially invest in, especially if Hello Labs does very well. And as we can see here, projects are either going to sink or they're going to swim when demonstrating what they have to offer. These guys are also offering their arcade, all right? So this looks like a little bit of a knockoff of Subway Surfers, but it's an easy to play game, right? It's not like GTA 6 that you're going to have to download and you're probably going to need a terabyte of space to actually do so, but they're nice and easy games that you can just play on the side that require basic skill and attention, but ultimately are fun and easy to play. So overall, I think this project is going to do exceptionally well. I'm not sure how the media, all right, the media narrative in cryptocurrency is going to do, but I can already see a huge, all right, a huge amount of hype around this TV show. It's going to be accessed, all right, sorry, accessible on a few different streaming sites and early to those holders that are holding the Hello token. And also, all right, you know, I know a lot of big YouTubers and big Twitter accounts are going to be pushing this in the bull run. And if we have a look at the price action, we've pretty much only been going up. All right, we did have this nice sideways consolidation area for a few months, and then boom, we just broke out and we're seeing something similar. But in the bull run, all right, I would not be, you know, shocked at all to, for this to reach the multiple billions. All right. And the tokenomics are a little bit better than the other two, but it's still like $141 million market cap. Sorry, full $80 million market cap is actually not high for a project like this. Let alone, all right, so a 100x from the current point leaves it just under $10 billion in market cap. So I'm not sure if we're going to hit that 100x from the current point. I think if you bought down here, you're definitely going to see that 100x. And if you bought down here, you know, you're absolutely laughing. You're going to see a massive, massive return on your investment. But ultimately, I still think that hundred, uh, sorry, that 50 to maybe 75x is still achievable as long as you can find the top. All right. So Hello Labs is still an excellent investment. I can see this going much higher in the very near future. But in all honesty, you know, it hits that gaming, all right, that gaming narrative on the head, incorporating their TV show into their project in order to launch and help new projects launch out there. I think it's going to do exceptionally well. And all I can see this really doing is going up from here. Obviously, we might have a halving retracement. All right? 136 days away. The halving is just around the corner. But in the bull run, it's going to be worth a lot more than it is right now. Alrighty, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, make sure you check out the Crypto with Zach Discord server if you want to collaborate with like-minded crypto investors. And also check out the Patreon if you would like an easy access to connect with me, get my thoughts and opinions on your projects, and utilize all the benefits. All right, currently 20 USD a month, which will be rising in the near future. And whatever price you buy is the price you're guaranteed for life or until cancellation. Apart from that, I hope the markets have been treating you well and you guys have been absolutely printing some money. The uh, sorry, the future is bright all right, for cryptocurrency. It's going to be very good to see where we can take this as a community. My name is Zach and I'll see you in the next one.